I recently purchased the Bevel Pro, which is marketed as a two-in-one clipper and trimmer. So today I'm going to give you my pros and cons of this clipper, as well as let you know if I think it's worth the price tag. I ordered this clipper directly from the Bevel website at a price of $365, and it comes with the clipper blade as well as a trimmer blade. But since I pre-ordered, they also threw in this T-shaped blade. So the one that it comes with is a square blade and they threw in this T-shaped blade. So let's get right into the pros and cons. And I'm going to start out with the pros. I try my best to be very unbiased with reviews, so I'm going to do the same thing in this video. When I first opened the box, it was a very pleasant user experience. And when I picked it up, I immediately felt the quality. So I see why the price is justified. I'm a big fan of this black sleek look. It just looks very premium in the hand. Also, I like how they did the graphite blade as well. And as you can see, it has the LED display as well. It's a bit heavy, but it's not too heavy. It just has that good quality feel. So another major pro that I like about this clipper is the technology that goes into it. With the leverless gap control, that was a really innovative idea. And I can tell that that's where most of the cost is coming from in this device. This adjusts all the way from zero millimeters to 2.5. My third pro is an appreciation for the Bevel brand. I like what Tristan Walker, that's the founder of Bevel, I like what he envisioned for the company and how he created products for black men with sensitive skin. So shout out to him. Now Bevel was recently bought out a few years ago by a company called Procter & Gamble, which is a billion dollar company that owns just about every brand you've heard of. They own Duracell, Braun, Gillette, and hundreds of other major companies. Now I'm not 100% sure about this, but once they were bought out by Procter & Gamble, I'm pretty sure they had a much bigger budget to go into the research and development of this product. Now that I've gone over the pros, let's get into the cons of this clipper. Now, while I appreciate the concept of the leverless gap control, the major downside is that it doesn't let you truly zero gap your trimmer or the clipper. So if you want to put in a bald fade, it won't be truly bald because it still leaves too big of a gap, in my opinion, in between the blades. I'll try to zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's as close as you can get the blades. It's not really a true zero gap like you would need to get crispy lines. I just find that you have to keep tapping the same area in order to get them to hit like they need to. And what I'll probably do is do a tutorial with these just so you can see and then you can be the judge for yourself. Another major downside of the leverless gap control is that it's very time consuming. It slows you down. In my opinion, it's much easier to have a manual lever that you can just open and close at will rather than having to wait seconds for this to adjust. And then it opens from zero to 2.5. So you have to find those increments that work for you. Instead of me opening and closing the lever, I have to wait. That was about three to four seconds just to open and close the lever. Now I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. My biggest pet peeve about this clipper is the guards. Oh my God. It is so hard to get these guards off. So you have to make sure they go on a certain way, but taking them off, it's not just like removing it. You have to grab the guard a certain way for it to come off. And if you don't put it on a certain way, it won't just slide on there. I promise you I'm not just doing this for the video. I literally can't even get this off. Okay, there we go. So let me try this again. Okay, it's on now. But to remove it, you just have to, you have to grab it a certain way. If you don't have fingernails, good luck. Now, I don't know if you consider this a con, but I know this says this is a two-in-one, but it just feels more like another detachable, in my opinion. This reminds me of a smaller version of an Oster 76er or a cordless Octane. I just don't feel like it's practical in a barbershop setting. So my overall opinion, I think that this is a great personal tool to use, but I don't think this is ideal for the barbershop setting. I really don't think that's the scope of this product. I think it was more so meant for self-grooming. I just find it hard to believe that multiple barbers said this leverless gap control is the most efficient way for a barber. I just find it hard to believe. I'm not bashing the Bevel brand. I really appreciate what they do. But with those guards, there's no way a barber could use those in a barbershop setting. If you have back-to-back -back haircuts, this is going to add at least five minutes on your haircut. So the main question you want to know, is this worth the price tag? This may come as a surprise to some. I'm going to say yes. You're listening to a person that appreciates quality and technology. So like I said, I won't use this in a barbershop setting, but I will use this to cut my own hair. But there's no way I'm going to use this for haircuts. So that's my two cents on the Bevel Pro. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments and let me know if you guys are gonna pick this up. Really quickly before I wrap this video up, if you're in need of any barber supplies, be sure to check out the Barber Style Directory Amazon store. All you have to do is click the link in the description. You'll find a wide supply of barber tools, disinfectants, combs, brushes, anything, you name it. Be sure to subscribe if you got value out of this video. Be sure to like the video as well and I will see you all on the next one. Have a great day.